Good morning and welcome to the Monday, September 2nd project operations meeting. Oh my goodness, how is it already September? It is very exciting and also terrifying at the same time. We have the starts of an agenda for the day, but I, I took the liberty yesterday of checking in on our OKRs. Um, because that's a useful thing to do as we're in the last third of the quarter. Um, we have a couple of items that we graded for the quarter as we're gonna do this, and yet we're unstarted. And so I slotted some of those in with, how are we gonna do this? What's the plan? What's the next step on those? So maybe we can, we can start from the top and work down, maybe? All right. Core implementations, here I can present so everyone can stare at the same thing as me. All right, everyone can see? Boom, implementations. So um, one of our OKRs for this quarter was having systemized operation policies for issue triage response time and a GitHub bot, a GitHub bot for reminders. Um, we thought we were going to actually get to this by the end of the quarter, which seems awesome and exciting. Um, what, what is our plan? What are the next steps? How can we help make this happen given actual real constraints on scheduling and timing? I think this is a sign to me and I haven't had the chance to look at it and considering my availability for the rest of the um, quarter, uh, I don't know that I'm gonna have any time to help with it, although I would really like to, to see it. <laughs> I mean, I had really good intentions, uh, but they've not been realized. So the one status I have is that GoFest will now auto-assign reviewers. Uh, that's it. Um, but I do believe we can use GitHub or yep, GitHub Actions to do a lot of these things. <clears throat> Does the re new release process count as a systematized operation policy? We had a separate that's... OKR about the systematized release <laughs> process. I don't think we get to spread around the 1.0. I think it would be awesome if someone else wants to volunteer to kind of help drive it forward. And maybe the best plan there is if, if someone is excited about it to set up a meeting with Alan to pick his brain of kind of his ideas going into it and kick it off with like a mini brainstorm session. Um, I'm happy to be involved in that. I think it'd be really interesting. Um, Stephen, go ahead. Um, I'm happy to work on this. I just need to remember to do it. All right. Well, maybe let's, uh, the three of us and whoever else volunteers, we can stick it in um, the PLI PFS team chat on a day that is not a holiday for, um, you know, a significant chunk of our group and see who else will join us and do kind of a, a kickoff. And then from there, based on who is excited, we can split out some action items across, across people so it doesn't all fall on one person's shoulders. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, Stephen, you want to give us an update on the next thing? Uh, nothing official yet, but Dirk can get this swap. Yeah, unfortunately, like, this is an area where people have to volunteer for individual components. Uh, so we'll probably have to discuss it at a meeting with Go people, which we don't really have. I guess we could do the core implementations call. 
maybe worth putting it on a, an agenda item when a lot of people, so the people know to absolutely attend for this and have it structured, have it structured so that people can walk through the, the list of available repos and we can make sure that they all have owners across different places. Any other core implementations, updates, or exciting things? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, I just written down that there is an update to JS Adverse Release Process pull request. Um, I'm also going to share these two points in the core implementations meeting. Um, but yeah, that's that's there. It looks exactly like Go FFS, uh release process, aside from a few additions that I made. Um, I think I highlighted them there. But my plan was to once if if they were accepted, then PR to Go IPFS with, with those changes, um, and see if they would like to be accepted over there as well. Um, uh, I already talked to Stephen about them. He said fairly okay with them so that's good um uh, and the second thing was just that um because i'm not going to be around from approximately next week um uh i started an issue to um uh to plan the next release of js ipfs um like who, who might that is basically manage the process of um, getting it released um, via this new um, release process, but I had to do the release process thing first before I could get to that. So, uh, anyway, yeah. So um, I'm hoping to sort that out this week. All right. So if anyone wants to get Alan's gorgeous perspective on anything, this week is the time to get to you, and we shall be ready for you to disappear at any moment after after the end of the week. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, or before. <laughs> Uh, I might, I might just disappear. Realistically, any, any second. But, you know, it could like be two weeks after next week, for all I know. Um, so uh, I'll try and like ping just to say that I'm, I'm not around anymore if I can. Yeah, let us celebrate you. It's exciting. And you the swag. Very exciting. Okay, thank you for yeah. helping prepare for taking that time, and also make sure to take your time. It's very important do it. <laughs> I, I was losing sleep that I hadn't prepared for handing over stuff. So I'm glad that I did manage to get some of this done before I left. <laughs> anyway. Perfect. Awesome. Good uh, stuff, implementations. Well done. All right. On to collaborations. Akadi is mostly out today. Um, and I don't think had time to drop in an update. Dietrich, do you know latest status on any of these? I'm I'm navigating the Mac OS X full screen conundrum. Sometimes it takes me a while to find the right window again. I literally turned off Zoom's full screen mode because I couldn't I couldn't handle it. It just they kept switching location. <laughs> yep. Uh, so our, do we want to go through the OKRs one by one for this group as well? Or we um, hit these issues that we have here. I just pulled some that hadn't. Well, one was an idea that we talked about briefly that I thought we should talk about on this call. Yep. Um, and then I just wanted to pull quickly on ones that were like, "This is this is moving," but we don't necessarily have an update on the latest progress on, um, or or we should be getting ourselves kicked off for that work. Yep. So the oh, okay. grants are. Arkad has said he was going to have a draft of a plan for that this week. Uh, um, <laughs> brave. I, so I just, I just tested that and uh, I, I'm verifying. It looks like the toggle should be, the toggle was in brave release. So I just pinged Lytle to see, did, did they silently that in release? The 
because the toggle for installing IPFS is there in their settings in the release gene. But it should be in, it should be in, in beta and nightly already for a while. Uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a, a he just messaged me back. We're gonna verify what the state of that is. Cool. It's fantastic to have such enthusiastic collaborators. <laughs> it's so enthusiastic that they ship it early. Woohoo! Test that's models. awesome. So we'll we'll I'll, I'll circle back around on that one. Uh, comms for ENS, I do not have an update there. So I don't want to come Arkady when he's back around. Yeah, we should definitely, um, in general, for these these collaborations, we should be making sure to um, coordinate announcements because I think you know we have good visibility because we're actively working with with these groups, but um, probably pl pretty difficult for folks who might want to take advantage of these awesome tools to to know that they exist and how they can start using them. So. Um, if possible, we should be starting to queue up some blog posts. Yeah, the, uh, so the web browsers in web browsers special interest group, we're going to schedule an on-site with uh, Hugo and Lionel and I at the end of the month to spend a couple days. And that's part of the plan is to, as these start, uh, that things are far enough along, especially in Brave, that we can start actively messaging about that collaboration. We need to have a plan in hand for how we want to do that and exactly who we want to do that for and how we're going to measure uh uptake after that point nice that's, that's definitely on, on the on the menu measuring uptake sounds like a great idea um i guess one point i'll call out around the the proposal of um having having our own public portal for dev grants um we populate the backlog we've we've had a dev grants program since like about a year ago um we just haven't had a public portal for it people have kind of come to us um, through a variety of channels um, and, and we've given dev grants in the past. So I'm curious whether folks think that a, a backlog for you know, kind of visibility and tracking purposes should be part of our forward looking dev grants repo, which is mostly there to coordinate people on new topics that would be interesting dev grant um, candidates. Folks have thoughts? There's like loads of stuff in the various repos that I've seen that might be dev grantable. The core implementation folks would probably be prime candidates that probably be worth looking and talking to our little too about what worked and didn't work with bountyizing lib P2P stuff. Uh, if there were uh, bounties that were easily picked up and ran with and ones that weren't, kind of what, what types of features lent themselves to that. I know that from previous experience in projects doing this kind of thing, making things uh, projectizable, easy for somebody who's new to the project to pick up and run with or, or a team who doesn't have to dip too deep into a core implementation flow to be able to pick something up and run with. It's really important for making it successful. Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I think um, in order to you know, forward populate that step grant um, process, we'll, we'll need more cross coordination across people here um, because I don't think any one individual uh, can go and spin up all of these dev grants by themselves. Uh, but at the very least, we have really good exemplars from other projects to, uh, to emulate, which is snazzy. Cool, any other collabs related updates? Any, any news from Opera? Are they back from holidays now? We, we are, uh, we, I think we're going to meet this week to talk about what the next steps are. Cool. Yeah, I think, uh, or I'd imagine that if we want to get something out this year, it's time to get rolling. Yeah, yeah the, and, the Android team seemed uh, pretty, pretty confident in the last time that we talked with them. It was, it was really to be able to connect with a couple of those folks. But uh, the, the details are in the details, as they say. Fair enough. And they haven't actually started any implementation work yet, I assume. I, it's not clear. I mean, they made their, their initial uh, you know, an announcements about that, that kind of stuff quite, quite a while ago. But, yeah. uh, and, and really, the, the whole team there, um, they, they haven't shipped anything, and they are not open source. So it is very difficult to, to tell. Uh, but they, they were looking at things like the addresses and spec, and they're already really pretty familiar, it seemed like, with uh, what was in it. So I'm, okay. I'm, I think they probably did some experimentation related to the, the DAP stuff that they want to do, is my, my uh, kind of feel there. Cool. All right. That's good to hear. 
Uh, in, in the end of it, if it's, all, it's only gateways support out of the gate too, so that's not too high of a hurdle. Fair enough. So hopefully configurable gateway support such that you can do local stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one of the one of the in, one of the in interesting challenges there is more just about what the people think the use case is, getting people's imagination around the idea that there might be a local node. Yeah, like what? Let's, it's so low cost to to think that there might be. Let's just try it, and then if there's not, the cost of that is really low. So that's yeah. kind of the approach. I wonder taking when, talk, when talking about that potential possibility. I wonder if textile exposes their mobile node. It would be cool if they did. I'm going to send a message. I got that. That's a good question. All right. Um, IPFS community. Some things on our list here was a run book so that we are prepared from kind of a comms, comms to the comms unity uh, perspective. And um, I feel like there was something else. But um, I feel like the first step for a run book is to start brainstorming the things that would go in a run book. Um, I'm also happy to be in that sort of a kickoff meeting. Who else? Who else would be good attendees for brainstorming this? I feel like maybe David or Jeremy, potentially. Like, who's, who's been our uh, comms thing, like, historically, so we make sure to get a, a full vantage point? Maybe Mosh? Yeah, if there's people who've been through the Crucible, uh, at least their review of any of this would be a good idea. And I, if I remember correctly, you all had some documents, a previous brainstorm about this that we can use as a starting point too. But I, I know I have somewhere in my Google Drive history. Uh, I'll, my name's next to that one on the OKR, so I will schedule a meeting to chat about this. All right, and Alan, you want to tell us about the, the latest awesome blog post? Yes, I do. Uh, I think it was last week um, that we shipped a version of JSI PFS HTTP client, um, and it enables PubSub in the browser, uh, which is super cool because it's been long awaited by many people. Um, and it's been difficult because uh, the, just the APIs were not there for a while and they eventually became available in the browser and lots of browsers now support them, all browsers now support them that need to, um, that we care about at least. Um, so it was trivial to do, but it, like, what's really nice is that it's um, kind of paving the way for uh, our async await um, endeavor in uh, JSRPFS. Uh, HTTP client, so um, it's all good news, um, and uh, because it was kind of a big deal, uh, I wrote a blog post. It's really short. Very exciting. I'm curious, is there any way for us, you know, I know PubSub channels, it's all about joining the channel, is there any way for us to know if people are starting to adopt and use this feature in applications actively? It'd be super awesome. I don't know of a way how we could do that. Off the top of my head. I assume you're not using the DHG to advertise. Uh, so it depends on the what what is it at the other end of the at the other end of the HTTP connection. Mm -hmm. So whatever node is there, however that's doing PubSub. Got it. Okay. Because it's just a HTTP request and sending pub sub messages back and forth to a node that does pub sub and is on the IPFS network. So npm installs. Okay. Yeah. So we could see if we have an uptick in uh, people downloading um, IPFS HTTP client, but that, that could be coincidental. Uh, well, they're unlikely. I haven't tweeted about HTTP client for a while um, or made any, there hasn't been any significant, but there has been releases of it, but um, it's not, um, it doesn't get tweeted about as nearly as much as JS I prefer. Popular anyway. All right. Something to, to think about going forward.
All right, any updates from either the maintenance side of things or the research side of things? Uh, the only update from maintenance side, we still are having our uh, weekly in web browsers and GUI meetings uh, for varying levels of participation. We talked a little bit about last week about why we're having them and they're still really important, are important to have for both the maintenance stuff as well as the collaboration support for browsers. Uh, the, the, we did a little review of the list of issues that we talked about. And these are all really, really important things that we still need to figure out one way or another. Uh, and Hack is working on kind of new approaches to uh, unit testing for desktop so we can know if when things break proactively. And I believe we get a David back next week, which is very exciting. So hopefully we'll have some, some research updates soon after that. Though we shouldn't expect any when he first arrives. Awesome. All right. Any any other agenda items we want to talk through? Four minutes left. Nope. Operate in a way. All right then. Cool. Well, thank you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day of labor. And uh, everyone who isn't taking time off, see you on the other side of taking time off. Bye. All right. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day.